Hey everyone, welcome back to Radial Dynamics. Today I wanted to do a quick demonstration about a topic that's come up a few times recently, having to do with the levels of different components that are installed in a steering system. Before we get into that, I have one favor to ask, and that's if you find this video to be useful or informative or even just entertaining, please go to the link that's showing on your screen right here to vote for Radial Dynamics in the 2019 SEMA Launchpad competition. This is a big opportunity with the chance to exhibit at SEMA and between now and September 8th, 2019, we need as many votes as possible in order to make sure that we get in. So your vote matters and I really appreciate the support. So let's get on with the demo. One issue that people bring up when they're installing a new steering system is the idea of where certain components need to be located within the vehicle. The general notion is that the reservoir should be the highest point in the steering system and while this is good practice, it's not always practical and it's not absolutely necessary and I'm going to show you why. What I have here is a very simplified steering hydraulic circuit consisting of one of our vortex reservoirs, a high flow steering pump, and a sight glass that's installed about a foot above the fill level inside of the reservoir, which could represent either a fluid cooler or a control valve or any remotely located component within the steering system. Now the general notion is that any components that are installed above the level of the reservoir will trap air and they will cause the system to overflow when you take the, the cap off of the reservoir. But that's not actually the case. This reservoir is currently filled almost to the top, so I'm going to go ahead and just spin this pump so that we get fluid going through the whole circuit. So now that the pump has taken the fluid from the reservoir and it's pushed it all of the way through the system, we see that the sight glass is completely full and even though the pump is now stopped, the sight glass remains full. So the maximum fluid level in the system is now up here in the sight glass rather than down here in the reservoir. Now the concern is that if I now take the lid off of the reservoir, this portion of the system is going to drain. But let's see what happens. Obviously it didn't do anything, you can see that the sight glass is still full. So the reason that the system stays fluidized up into the sight glass, even with the cap removed from the reservoir, is the fact that the only way for fluid to drain out of this sight glass is for it to be displaced with air. And with all of the system plumbing being plumbed in below the fill level of the reservoir, there's no air that can get back into the sight glass. Now if we had a leak in one of the fittings, perhaps like opening this valve, now you see that the fluid will drain out of the sight glass because it's able to be displaced and the fluid is going to push back down until it matches the level inside of the reservoir. So even though it's good practice to install the reservoir as the highest point in the steering system, it's not absolutely necessary. Anytime you do have a high point, however, there is potential to create an air pocket or an air trap. So it's important that when you're doing your initial system bleeding, you may need to crack one of the fittings open or put in a, a vent bleeder so that you can get that air out. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to vote for Radial Dynamics in the SEMA Launchpad competition. And until next time, I'll see you on the trails.